Hey, what's going on guys? This is Broku and welcome back to another What If video, but this is actually a collaboration with Revolution, so here he is. Hello guys, it's great to be here. Thanks for having me on your channel, Broku. Yeah, dude, of course. I've been waiting to do a collab, especially with you, but so today's What If is what if the Saiyans revolted against Frieza? This would be back around the time where Bardock essentially revolted by himself. And we're just going to talk about um, what would have happened. Could they have defeated Frieza? Or how, would have Frieza actually defeated them? So what are your initial thoughts? How do you think the Saiyan revolt would have gone? Well, knowing the Saiyans and how feisty they are, they probably would have gone straight into battle and lost. But if they'd have taken it a more smarter route they probably would have planned it out and I think in any circumstance they would have found it hard to win because obviously we know whereas the Saiyans didn't what Frieza's power level was and it was something like 120 million I mean even Vegeta was surprised that he kept evolving on planet Namek but um, the best chance they probably would have had is if they isolated Frieza on a planet and then basically <laughs> made an Uzaru army and attacked them all at once. Yeah. That for me would probably represent their greatest chance of defeating Frieza. Even then, they'd still be up against it, but 10 times multiply for Uzaru. I mean, I think Vegeta, when he came into the Saiyan saga, was at 18,000 or something yeah, 18, like that. 000. King Vegeta may have been. Yeah, I got up. some, I looked at some power level numbers, and so. We know that King Vegeta's power level was 10,000, and it was stated that Kid Vegeta had actually surpassed his father, so he's above 10,000, and then Barlock was around 10,000, so all of them would be around 100,000, but Frieza in his first form is 530,000, <laughs> so it, it'd be, if the three of them all went Azaru and teamed up, it's, it, Frieza would still have a bigger advantage than Raditz had on Goku and Piccolo. So it's a it's a it's a pretty yeah, big difference. I mean, they'd have to think. Yeah, they'd have to think of one hell of a. Yeah, strategy. and then plus they're huge, so they can probably be running into each other while they're trying to attack a little guy like Frieza. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but um, one thing I was thinking is, if there were to be five or six right-hearted Saiyans, full-hearted Saiyans, maybe they could find the Super Saiyan God ritual by fluke. Yeah, but, or. Um, even at that power level, even multiplying the power level by a Super Saiyan multiplier, they still wouldn't stand a chance against Frieza. No, only first, only if the if King Vegeta, Bardock, or Kid Vegeta went Super Saiyan, they'd still be like weaker than Frieza, but they'd be very relative in power. But that's just first form Frieza. Once Frieza transforms, it's a uh, it's a slaughter. So well, the only thing that I can think of them actually defeating Frieza is if he. If when he launched that key blast at them, if they all went Azaru and all combined their powers and launched the key back key blast back at Frieza, then maybe that could kill him. But then if he transformed in the middle of getting attacked, then he probably deflected anyways. But yeah, um, basically as well, if they did revolt, obviously the Saiyans would never have gone back to Earth as well. So Goku would never have met the Saiyans. He would never have known about his heritage. Yeah. So. That's an interesting aspect of it. I believe he would have ended up fighting Piccolo again because Piccolo would never have brought up Gohan and changed. I mean, that changed Piccolo's character immensely. That's true. So they would have fought again. Goku most likely would have won. Would Goku have unlocked Super Saiyan against Piccolo? Hmm. He could have, or if he did not unlock it against Piccolo, the android still would have came, probably, right? Because Jiro still hated Goku. Yeah. I mean, but I know. Then, but then he'd get, oh, then he'd get the heart virus. Yeah, the thing anyway, is. Anyway, and then the uh, oh, this is so confusing. <laughs> Timelines and shit. Yeah, even even if he did. Oh wow, I've just got an email telling me my Dragon Ball Fighter Z is on the way. That's cool. Anyway, Ooh, even if he yeah. did, the androids <laughs> would have come a few years later, and Goku wouldn't have stood yeah. a chance. Because even if he did a turn no. Super Saiyan, he wouldn't have gone through all that intense training he did on a way, on his way to Namek or to fight Nappa and Vegeta. So even as a Super Saiyan, you would be relatively weak compared to what he was eventually on Namek. So... Yeah, that's, that's a big predicament for him because he was like 400 at the time Raditz came. Yeah. 
and he would have had to have either decided to go in the, t the time chamber again randomly because he wouldn't have gotten the gravity training on King Kai's planet. But I think the time chamber has a 10 times gravity too. Yeah, it does. Not 100. Yeah, yeah. So he guess if he did go in the time chamber, he'd still get his gravity it, training. I think it increases the further you go out as well. Okay. So that, that would... If he doesn't, if he didn't get Super Saiyan against Piccolo, then he'd get it against the androids and then die. Yeah, I mean, he wouldn't. <laughs> he'd be on his own against the androids as well because he wouldn't have Vegeta to fight with him. He wouldn't have Piccolo to fight with him. I guess he'd be relying on Gohan, and I guess from the future timeline, even with the Namek Saga, they didn't stand a chance against the androids. Yeah, and I guess that means if Bulma survives, then she would make a time machine, and then Gohan would go back in time. Yeah, I mean, I'd just train Bulma because she can take a slap from Beerus. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> they've, they've missed the point the whole time. Just train Bulma. <laughs> but, oh, no. Yeah, I hey, mean... Chi -chi. They didn't yeah. confuse. I mean, I think the whole Tournament of Power, I know this is way after the Saiyan Sog, but the whole Tournament of Power has mainly been about how, through strategy and tactics, you can defeat a more powerful opponent, mm -hmm. unless his name's Jiren. <laughs> so the Saiyans, if they were smart, if they actually had somebody smart amongst them, then they could have thought of a strategy and found a way to kill Freezer. It's still a highly unlikely scenario. But what if yeah. they did? That's the interesting thing because then they'd mm -hmm. probably go and start an empire. They'd start their own empire oh, and take over the planets themselves. The Freezer force yeah. would get wiped out. They'd probably come calling for Goku eventually if they beat Freezer. Yeah, and if they got to Goku maybe at a young enough age, they could like convince him to become a Saiyan. Because by the time Raditz got there, Goku was way too far gone to ever become evil. But if they got there when he was like five or six, maybe they could convince him to become evil. But, but yeah, I and that would mean that maybe Bardock goes and tries and get Goku to come with him instead of Raditz. If Bardock survives the revolt, I mean, yeah, that may have worked. He might have been able to convince him. He wasn't quite as evil as his son. It says more things about his uh father skills really doesn't it we know where goku got it from but mm -hmm. but um yeah yeah but what what do you do you think there's any way the saiyans could beat freezer i think it's very unlikely but it is possible i mean if all of a sudden they started going super saiyan they all teamed up or if like they all teamed up and did a their own key blast key blast and combined it and then if it went against Frieza's key blast from his first form, but it was a key blast from his final form, I don't think they could. Even if they all teamed up, well, actually, it depends on how many Saiyans there are. If, yeah. If there was like millions really of Saiyans. I mean, the thing is, this is what when people talk about plot holes in Dragon Ball Super, I always think back to how Doctor Zero managed to create androids that were more powerful than planet-busting beings. When previously, what was capable of, they couldn't even take out somebody like Piccolo. Yeah. <laughs> so, who knows? Maybe there could have been some scientists on planet Vegeta that could have hmm. come up with their own. That is true. Androids, like a Saiyan android or something like oh, that. Oh, God. Uh, That'd be OP. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, there could have been ways. They would have have to have been very smart about it, maybe keep Freezer in line, not keep him in line by punishing him, but like just sweeten him up every time they met him, but then plan behind his back. Mm, yeah. But it's it's hard to think that they could beat Freezer in a in a battle. Yeah, he's just he's just so so much stronger than them. It's, it's especially in his final form, 120 million. Like it's just <laughs> such a huge gap. I mean Yeah, I mean if Bardock was 10,000, I mean, what's that multiply to get to 120 million? Yeah, it's, it's crazy. You can't even crazy. blow up the planet that Freezer's on because he'll survive anyway. You're just going to kill yourself. Yeah. His durability is wow. crazy. And, like, even though it's not canon, I think it was, the, what, the episode of Bardock where he gets, like, teleported back in time and then he uh, becomes a Super Saiyan. Even though that's not canon, if he did become a Super Saiyan, he'd still be weaker than first form Frieza. But then again, if, if other Saiyans saw that and then they... If they themselves go Super Saiyan I mean, as well, then an army of Super Saiyans. If there was thousands of yeah. them, then I think they could defeat Frieza. Yeah, but I mean, that's the thing, isn't it? It's whether not, they could find the secret to unlocking Super Saiyan. If, if Bardock 
I mean, Bardock seemed pretty intelligent. If he realised in the same manner that Khalifla and Kava did, that it's all about the tingly back. <laughs> I mean, you can literally teach Super Saiyan to any Saiyan. That's true. As long as they've got enough S cells, but... Yeah. I mean, their, their only way of defeating Frieza is if they do it on the sly, and then maybe trap him on a planet where he can't get any help from the Ginyu Force, or Dodoria. So... Yeah, I mean, they'd have to isolate him on a planet, but I think they'd be surprised when he turns on his final form. <laughs> yeah. And then if they do even somehow defeat Frieza, they'd run into the issue of King Cold wanting revenge on him, who, he's pretty strong himself. Yeah, I, think, I think. I don't think he was ever he's around the house level. he was. I mean, he pretty much got yeah. bodied by future trunks, didn't he? So he yeah, came so. in and went out straight away. But Yeah, and then if the Saiyans win then they'd probably come back for Goku at some point because they'd realize that Goku didn't destroy the population of Earth. Or if the Saiyans were all erased then, or killed, then Goku would keep fighting Piccolo. They'd be rivals. I don't know. Do you think Goku would, would end up killing Piccolo um. to because he'd keep becoming a villain? Or would it be like a Batman-Joker thing where Batman always keeps the Joker alive? Yeah, I think, I think it would be like that. I don't think Goku would ever kill him because... I mean, Piccolo was the antagonist, but I mean, he's not freezer level of evil, is he? Where you need to kill him, <laughs> otherwise he'll destroy. Piccolo would probably more than likely accept the loss, then think about coming back and getting revenge. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, it would lead up to the Android saga. Doctor Jiro would was always continuing his projects of making androids. Whether those androids would be as strong though remains to be seen, because without Freezer's DNA. Yeah, I think they would be weaker, but still stronger than Goku. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But then obviously Cell would come along as well, and oh, then God. eventually Majin Buu would come along. So it ultimately, it ultimately be uh, Perfect Cell versus Majin Buu. Maybe Cell would oh, become a good shit. guy. <laughs> oh shit! That actually, and if. If, if Cell has uh, Frieza's potential of training for four months and getting that much stronger, then but Boo has high potential too. So like, I don't, it's but Cell has the like potential. Some... Cell has the potential of Saiyans and Frieza. Uh, <laughs> and yeah, Manekians. that's that's I crazy. Think... Yeah, Cell is just OP. Yeah, I honestly, think if everybody got brought back and was allowed to train for a certain amount of time, Cell would probably have the most potential out of all. Oh yeah, especially if he could. Um, go golden cell if he has if he has the cells of frieza if he could go golden that would be ridiculous that would be so op especially i mean it's pretty crazy how strong they all got in dragon ball super especially frieza i mean four months training and he caught up super saiyan blue goku yeah it's that's ridiculous but it makes sense because i guess they say he never has ever trained in his life which, which yeah. gives him great potential yeah um, yeah, I'd love to see Frieza and Cell actually meet in Dragon Ball Super. I think that'd be. Um, yeah, I'm just interested in seeing Frieza convene with Seventeen because Seventeen was never evil oh, yeah. like Frieza, but he was he was the antagonist. He has killed people. It will be interesting for Frieza to see somebody who also was a villain, who is now pretty much a good guy. Maybe it'll have an an effect on Frieza before the end of this tournament. Yeah, that would, that would be really cool because 17 was... They're both villains and... Yeah, I one, one thing I want to say is a lot of people are saying they want Frieza to be a good guy after the tournament and I do not want him to be a good guy. He's such a good villain. Yeah, I think he could become the shade of grey character Vegeta used to be because Vegeta's not that shade of grey character anymore. Yeah. I mean, he might do something against what everybody else wants them to do but he now has good intentions at heart because obviously he has his family. Mm -hmm. Whereas since Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Super's kind of lacked that shade of grey character. I know Dragon Ball Super's finishing, but if it was to continue, if it is to ever come back, it freezes that shade of grey character where you just simply don't know what he's going to do, whether he's going to fight for good or evil. I think that would be an interesting dynamic to bring back. Yeah, it would be. Um, and Freezer has shown signs of this time, realising that Goku is quite influential. I mean... Goku's a real Goku's a one-layered character. There's not that much to him, but because he always aspires to break his own limits, he uh, he inspires everybody else around him. And might he might just be now Freezer's actually having to spend some time watching Goku rather than just trying to kill him as soon as he gets the chance. 
it might just be that he's inspiring Freezer as well. That, that is a long shot, but you never know. Yeah, any other uh, thoughts on the what if scenario, the Saiyans rebelling against Frieza? I mean, yeah, ultimately, I can't see how they could win in a head on battle. The only thing they could do would be is to be smart and maybe trap Frieza, but even then, the odds are against them. Depends how many people there are in their population. I mean, even if they trap Frieza, Frieza could just blow up the planet <laughs> and fly off. Yeah, if they, if they had millions of warriors, I think that they could eventually get to them, but if there's only thousands of Saiyans, and Yeah. I mean, if they're doing it on the sly, they could train up like a task force that could eventually take on Frieza, maybe just keep injuring themselves so they keep Broly. growing. If only they would have just kept Broly. Sorry? I said if only they would have just kept Broly. <laughs> catch Broly. If they would have, if they would have cast him, <laughs> catch Broly in a master ball and send him out of Freezer. Oh, Broly would destroy Freezer. Um, yeah. Um, right. Yeah, I've, it's hard to imagine. I mean, these Saiyans were so oppressed by Freezer, they became incredibly. They were incredibly weak. That's the only way to look at it now. I know they're a warrior race, but in terms mm -hmm. of power level, they're incredibly weak. That's true. Compared to what we have now. I mean, even Krillin's... Even Krillin could probably take out their whole race, the Universe 7 ones anyway. Oh, for sure. Apart from Goku and Vegeta, obviously. But uh, Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I, mean, well, I don't know. Super Saiyan Blue, Goku versus Krillin in the recruitment. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I, ca I can't see how... I can't see how the Saiyans can win. But... Yeah, I think it's extremely unlikely they'd win. Sorry? I think it's extremely unlikely that the Saiyans would win. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I can't see how they can win, unless they yeah. can create their own androids or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or catch Broly in a Master Ball. <laughs> Alright, well I think it's gonna wrap up the video. So make sure guys to go to the link in the description and go subscribe to Revolution. Any, anything you want to say to everybody? I know, um, thanks for having me. It's a pleasure. We'll have to do this again sometime. Yeah, for sure. Make sure if you're watching Broku for the first time, you subscribe to Broku as well. All right, well, peace out, everybody. So, guys, if you enjoyed, please do leave a like and also subscribe and join my Discord that's linked in the description. And also follow me on Twitter. Don't forget, I have a 30,000 subscriber special coming up. And go to my Twitter, follow me, do a hashtag AskBroku, and ask me a question, and I will probably feature it in my Q&A video. And I have to give a big shout out to all of my Patreon supporters. And that is my, so these are my Super Saiyans, Zack Trotaku and Hodag Hunter 37. My Super Saiyan 2s, Dariush, Israel Flores, Dutch Gamer Monkey, Sin Overlord, Connor Trigg, Locke, Gerald Herbert, Anime Paradox, Griffin Jacob, Mystic Ghoul, and to my Super Saiyan 3s, Scotland Serenity, Diraj Payton, the really awesome dude that only supports Broku on Patreon, and Badass Thug. Thank you guys so much for all the support. It really does mean a lot, and it really does help me, help me out. And I hope you guys all have an amazing day. Peace out.